Today, I will be bringing you a Japanese horror movie from 2009 named Teak Teak. Spoilers ahead, be warned, and take care. The movie begins in the city of Nagoya, Japan. In the starting scene, a woman is going back home on a bus after late night work. We saw that she has a bright red keychain hanging from her handbag, although it looks harmless at first sight, but the keychain is going to be the reason for her downfall. The bus also has a group of female teenagers playing around in the back seat they discuss about a japanese urban legend called the teak teak the vengeful ghost of a school girl whose lower half of the body is missing it is said that teak teak fell to a railway track from an overpass and died after being cut into half by a running train therefore her ghost walks on her hands and elbows dragging her and making a scuttling noise that sounds like teak teak if teak teak encounters an individual in an overpass she will pursue them and cut them in half at the torso killing them in such a way that mimics her own mutilation for the previous few months many half torsos have been found on an overpass which the girls believe that teak teak is doing the woman overheard their talks and gets nervous because she will have to go across an overpass to get home she chastised the girls for discussing about such absurd theories but the girls were laughing at her some moments later she is going through the overpass and she hears a rustling sound behind her but after checking she saw no one when she turns around we see the upper torso of teak teak at her back the woman begins to run noticing that someone is following her teak teak goes behind making her identification scuttling noise eventually the lady comes face to face with the spirit and she's cut into half in an instant second kana and ayaka are high schoolers who have been best of friends since childhood one day ayaka disclosed that she has a crush on the school's football player named Itsumi, she told Kana to tell Itsumi about her feelings because she is too timid to do it herself, Kana does not want to do it, but she accepted, after being offered lunch, she went to Itsumi and asks him out, from Ayaka's side, it is obvious that, Itsumi likes Kana more than Ayaka, but he accepts to go on a date with Ayaka, nevertheless, the following morning, the best friends are discussing, when Kana asks Ayaka about her date, she answered that, Atsumi was talking about, Kana the whole time, Ayaka asks her to join her on her next date, with Atsumi, Kana isn't buying the idea, because she doesn't want to get in between the two, but on being asked repeatedly, she accepts to go on only a single date with them, after school. They went to a cafe in Meet Atsumi, he shows them his new phone, where the news about a half-torso being discovered on an overpass is being reported. Atsumi seems to be familiar about the spirit of Teak Teak and told the girls about her story. He advises them never to go alone on the overpass during night and also advises them never to look behind if they hear somebody approaching them. It is believed that if they ignore Teak Teak's existence, she will leave you alone. Kana felt it is a myth. But Ayaka added that, even if anybody manages to run away from the spirit, the rumors say that the person will die within three days. For a while, Ayaka goes to the bathroom, and Kana takes the chance to ask Atsumi what he thinks about Ayaka. To her surprise, he replies that he is not into her at all. He only accepted to go on a date because Khan told him to do so. It turns out that Ayaka is listening to their discussion from behind the door. She felt heartbroken and filled with jealousy after finding out that her crush prefer her best friend soon. It starts to get dark, they leave for their individual houses, Atsumi leaves first, and the best friends walk home together. On their way, Ayaka questions Konna if she likes Atsumi, Kana denies of having feeling for him, but it doesn't please his Ayaka. She starts up a fight, and storms off, in a fit of rage, to take another route home. She need to, cross the overpass. She walks through apologetic, for lashing out at Konna, and it actually, isn't even her fault, she is thinking, of apologizing to her the next day when strangely a noise startles her she gently turns around to see teak teak her in her front as shivering went down her spine at the side as she recalls that she wasn't expected to look at the ghost she ran for her life but the ghost is just as fast as a matter of seconds later her body is sliced into two which kills her instantly teak teak then jumps off the overpass after killing her the following morning kana finds out about her best friend's death and she fell to the ground crying a teacher assists her up and calms her before she was taken to the police station for interrogation kana doesn't inform them about the fight they had last night she only tells them that they met in the cafe and went home after then Upon getting home, Connor is watching the news about the woman who was killed. At the beginning of the movie, the police have claimed that her husband is the culprit, but he insists she was killed by a ghost with only the top half of her body. This makes Connor realize that Ayaka's death 
might also be caused by the spirit to ease her mind. She went for a walk, but the kids around the neighborhood are also discussing about Teak Teak. Then she meets Atsumi and told him about the fight that she and Ayaka fought last night. On their way back home, they discuss about the woman whose husband was accused of her murder, but claims that he saw Teak Teak. Atsumi told Connor that Teak Teak is just a common myth and the husband must be trying to divert the attention to escape being convicted some hours later when it was dark kana went to the overpass with some flowers to give respect to her friend somewhere else atsumi feels like something terrible is about to happen so he came back looking for kana just then kana heard a noise from behind her she knows his teak teak and recalls atsumi asking them never to look behind she closed her eyes and sits down shivering in fear teak teak comes nearer and stares at her but kana kept her eyes shut seconds later the spirit went away when kana finally opens her eyes she heard ayaka calling her from behind unknowing that it is a trick set by teak teak she turns around and locks eyes with a ghost chase ensue as kana ran to save her life she is almost to be caught when she sees Itsumi on a bicycle, searching for her, she climbs on his bike and asks him to fastly cycle away, but however, they fall off it and they brace themselves for the attack to come, but strangely, the ghost disappears, she then figures out that it is because she only attacks the people who are crossing alone. The next day, Kana went visiting Itsumi in the hospital because his leg has been fractured. He still didn't believe the Teak Teak story because he didn't see the ghost from last night. To discover more about her, Kana went to the library and reads a book about the legend. She is approached by her cousin Ri, who said that she too has been researching Teak Teak lately. She is about to leave to a different city to see a professor who knows more. About the issue, Kana tells her about the events that transpired last night. Since she saw the ghost, she is left with two days before Teak Teak will attack her again. They went for the city and arrived following day. After that, they meet the professor who told them that, after World War II, a girl had jumped off the overpass to take her life. Her upper torso was discovered the following day on the railway tracks. After that incident, Teak Teak started appearing. So the locals believe that she is the vengeful ghost of the girl who took her own life. He also gives them the address of the people who might have known Teak Teak before her death. The professor's assistant, Takeda, is told to follow the girls to the said location and assists them with the research. Before they leave, the professor included that Teak Teak dislikes red color and only attacks anybody wearing the color or are associated with it. This explains the death of the girl at the starting of the movie and Ayaka's death because she was with a red backpack. After that, Takeda carried the girls to Teak Teak's relatives. An old woman discloses that Teak Teak's real name is Kashima Lako and she was a nurse during the war. She was assaulted sexually by an American soldier that traumatized her for life. She associated the red color with the bleeding she experienced during the incident and started to dislike it. With time, she discarded all red objects in her sight but wasn't able to live life normally. She then eventually jumped off the overpass and was Divided in half by a train, the girls discovers everything about Teak Teak's life, but they yet still don't know how to prevent her from killing them. They are about leaving when DKH told them about a rumor of a memorial built for Kashima in somewhere called Mikasacho, according to some people. The killings had stopped after the memorial was built, but it restarted ever since it fallen over. The girls drive to Mikasacho by midnight, expecting to find the memorial to remake it upright. On their way, Re discloses that she also went to the overpass, same night that Kana met the ghost, that she also saw the ghost, but was able to escape before being killed. This means that both of their lives are in danger, and they only have two hours before the ghost will attack them. They got to the destination, but notice that the place has no memorial, recalls Takeda, who looks at a map and tells them that the place is more further, like seven kilometers away from their location. They then drive to the said place and arrived just in time. They discover the fallen memorial in a forest area, but before they could raise it back, they feel Teak Teak's presence. She runs towards them when the girls rushly place the memorial back up. After that, the ghost vanished and the girls run back to their car and suddenly they notice Teak Teak behind them on the road. She followed them because their car is red color. They abandon the vehicle and run away while taking off red clothes and accessories from themselves to cause misfortune. She accidentally cuts her head on a branch, making it to bleed. The color triggers, teak teak, and she jumps at Ri, slicing her in two. Minutes later, she launches at Connor, but vanishes before attacking her. The scene then cuts into a few months later. A group of kids are seen walking by. 
Kana's house, discussing about, a mentally ill girl, who dislikes red color, they also claim that, the spirit of, Teak Teak is frequently noticed, in this neighborhood, one year later, Takeda visits Kana, and her mother, who are now living, in a fresh residence, it turns out that, Kana has been, in an almost, catatonic state, since Ri died, she has never, been out of the room, and dislike the color red, Takeda finds her, sitting close to her window, with a grim expression, on her, face, in the last scene, he offers her, a red box of sweets, which makes her, to go into a frenzy, at the ending, it can't be concluded that, Tik Tika still hasn't, given up, on attempting, to kill Kana, hence, she rounds the neighborhood, every day, expecting Kana, to come in contact, with a red, object, Kana seems to know this, which tells why, she hates, red color so much, this is all, from the movie, make sure to subscribe, and turn on notifications, so you can watch, more videos like this, thanks for watching, see you soon.